Hey guys, what's up? Today on our channel we are going to be talking about corgi quirks and um, all of their weird personality traits and the weird things that they do. Corgis are a super funny breed. They're so entertaining to watch. They have a lot of different things that they do. And corgis to me are all very different, but there are a couple of things that I've noticed that they all do. And so today we're gonna to be talking about those things and then if there are any weird quirks that your corgi does, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know about it. The first thing we're going to talk about is the infamous corgi sploot. You know when your corgi lays out flat with their little short legs out behind them? That is actually termed the sploot. A lot of dog breeds do do this, but corgis, I think because of their short legs, are just very well known for their sploots. I noticed Willow doing this the first day I brought her home. It was so cute, her little puppy fur. Corgi's fur actually changes a lot as they get older, so you'll see in these videos of Willow as a puppy that she is a lot darker, fluffier, and her little peach bum is there, and uh, her sploot was just so adorable. She still does the same thing to this day. She sleeps a lot like that. She sleeps in my bed, and I will wake up and notice her splooting quite often. And I know there are a lot of corgis that even do it way more than Willow does, so if your corgi does this, please let me know. Another thing that corgis do, which I find to be so endearing and funny, is they just lay on their backs. As puppies, you'll see puppies doing this, their arms just by their side, their legs straight out, belly up. I will wake up multiple times throughout the night and I'll see Willow just laying there, you know, her legs up and her stomach facing up. And I think this is so cute. It really also shows how confident of a breed that they are. Dogs usually when they lay with their belly up and open to the world means that they are confident and comfortable in their surroundings. So this is another thing that a lot of corgis do. Willow does this probably more than the sploot and I probably love this more than the sploot. It is super funny and cute. The third thing, that is, that is a two. The third thing corgis do is they stretch. It kind of looks like a yoga move. Corgis, they keep their butt up and they just stretch down and bend their shoulders. And I see a lot of corgis do this. Willow does this every morning when she wakes up without hesitation. I can always bet that she's going to do it. And I know a few other corgis also do that. I think it's super funny and cute. And again, I think this has a lot to do with their short legs and their long bodies. A lot of dogs do do this, but it just looks cute when corgis do it. Another thing that Willow does, and I know other corgis do this too, is this small little bark for attention. <laughs> corgis are very vocal, they talk a lot, they're very smart, and so they know, you know, what time it is, when it's dinner time, when it's time to play, and I often find Willow doing this small little bark at me when she wants me to throw her ball or just wants my attention. It is so funny. It's kind of bratty. She's telling me what to do, but I think it's so cute and I've noticed a lot of other corgis do it. It's kind of just like a <laughs> Come on, Willow. <laughs> Willow. <laughs> Willow. <laughs> But that's what she does. Um, she also will like throw her ball at me, which is super funny. And she just gives me that look like, hey, throw my toy. Now I'm saying, now that I'm making these noises and saying <laughs> toy, she wants to play. Sticking with the theme on Corgi's talking and being very vocal and demanding and as some would say, um, bossy. They also really love to play and will boss you around until you play with them. Willow is very obsessed with the ball. She would play ball all day long. She never gets tired. We'll go out to the park and play fetch for 30 minutes. We'll walk all the way back home and then she brings me the ball again. And I know a lot of other corgis who are also obsessed with the ball. Willow's brother actually is so obsessed with the ball that they have to hide it whenever he comes over to play or like goes to corgi events because otherwise he'll just focus on the ball. So corgis are very active and 
energetic and they're working dogs. They were bred to actually herd animals on a farm. So they really love to have a job and when they become normal house pets and don't actually have a job every day, they'll find a job. So for Willow, fetching the ball is her job. She also has this, um, she's gonna get excited. This is her favorite toy actually. It is a Nerf duck and you launch it and this is her, this is what she herds. This is what she goes and fetches and brings to me and she like kills it. She's very proud of her work and she's staring at me right now, wanting me to throw it for her. She also barks sometimes whenever I throw it, like she's calling it, like I got it. It's so fun. But yes, corgis are very driven, very active. They love to have a job. And so they can become obsessed with certain things. For Willow, it is ball. She also really loves to herd the vacuum, which is sometimes, it makes me laugh, but then it's also super annoying because I'm trying to clean the floor and she's right there like biting on the vacuum, pulling it around, snapping at it. And uh, it's really funny. So I don't know if other people's corgis do this, but if yours, herds the vacuum and tries to attack the vacuum, please let me know in the comments below. Another thing that I really love about corgis and just find so endearing and adorable is their ears. They're obviously very large. Willows are extra large for her size. Actually, her breeder told me that her litter had super big ears and she was like, if you want your dog's ears to stand up, you may have to tape them for a couple of hours P.S. this does not hurt them or bother them at all. Otherwise Willow would have probably come out with floppy ears, which is also adorable, but I wanted her ears to be straight up like this. So um, yeah, fun tidbit, Willow has pretty big ears, even her breeder knew and realized that as a puppy. But their ears are so expressive, you will notice corgis, when they come and greet you a lot of times, they drop their ears down. This is a sign of them being friendly and welcoming and wanting to say hi. Another thing you'll notice is when corgis are really tired, their ears kind of just fall down. Like Willow's relaxing right now and her ears are not perked up. They're just relaxed kind of out to the side a little bit. When she was a puppy, it was especially funny because her ears were just so big on her. When they're listening to you, they move around, they're like satellite dishes, literally, like giant satellite dishes on their heads. And I love it so much. They're so cute and so soft, and I just love corgi ears. So if your guys, um, your guys' corgis do any other funny things with their ears, please let me know because I am obsessed with corgi ears. Now getting into some fun corgi actions that I have noticed, um, corgis love to get the zoomies. This just means that they get a burst of energy and they want to let that energy out. So a lot of times Willow will just get super excited, sometimes I don't know the reason, and just start sprinting back and forth in my house. She'll run up on the couch, jump down, go to the door, go through the kitchen, come back, run to the rug, run back. So it's super funny and um, you'll notice they do this a lot when they get to a park. Park. They're super excited and Willow also always does this when I get her out of a bath I'm not sure if it's because she's like trying to dry off or The water just gives her a burst of energy. So if you guys know why corgis like to um, Run around really quickly and get the zoomies. Please let me know corgis are also super fast and They have to try really hard to run really fast, but they are like little bullets and I love that Another thing that I've noticed that corgis do is they love to roll around in smells. I'm not sure if that is actually the reason why, but they love to roll around on their backs and rub their face in it and just really get in there. I notice Willow does this every time I take her to the park and she smells around for a little bit, finds the smell she's looking for and then literally rubs in it. We went on a hike one time in Prescott and I wasn't paying enough attention to her. She was on a call on a leash, but I looked down and she was rolling around in something and I picked her up and there was literally poop all over her side of her ear. We were like an hour and a half away from home and it smelled so bad. So I'm pretty sure that they roll around on things because they're trying to roll in the smell or they're trying to erase the smell with their smell. I'm not really sure. Willow also loves to do this on fake grass and on rugs. 
but rugs also probably hold smells so just a theory not quite sure maybe they're just itching maybe they just like the feel of it and they're having fun i think it's because they're rolling in the smell so that's what i call it corgis like to roll around in smells all right getting to one of the last things about corgis oh and this is charlie right here he just decided to plop down willow's best friend charlie he's very annoying <laughs> All right, another really great, sweet corgi quirk that I have noticed is corgis are super cuddly. I always post videos of Willow just laying with me. She'll like lay in my armpit and have her head right next to my head. A lot of times she will literally lay on top of me when we go to bed. And I just have noticed that the majority of corgis are super cuddly. This isn't necessarily true with all corgis. So if you want to get a corgi just because they're a cuddly dog, that's not like going to be guaranteed. But um, Willow is super cuddly. I love it. She snuggles with me all the time. I kind of, I don't know if I trained her to be cuddly, but when she was like about 10 weeks old, I would pick her up when she had finally fallen asleep and wasn't terrorizing the house. But when she was sleepy, I would pick her up and just lay her on my chest and we would just lay like that. And so now she still does that to this day. I'm not sure if that's why she does it or um, if she just naturally would do it anyways. But the corgi cuddles are one of my favorite things in the world. And last but not least, corgi quirk that is really made our social media take off is the food -a woo which is a term that I kind of made up, not really with the help of some followers, but basically they howl while they eat. Now, this isn't every corgi. This is not even very common within the corgi breed, but I do know quite a few corgis that do do it. Basically, Willow's dad used to howl while he ate when he was a puppy. And the breeder never told me this, but when I took Willow home and she was about maybe 12 weeks old, I noticed Willow started doing it. And so I started filming her and asking people like, hey, do your corgis do this? Like, why is Willow howling while she's eating? Is this a corgi thing? And everybody was like, no, I mean, my corgi howls to talk to me. My corgi howls when they hear a certain sound. Um, my corgi howls when they want attention, but not when they eat. And so this really just became a Willow thing. I actually texted Willow's breeder and she said, oh my gosh, just like her daddy. Um, her dad used to do that when he was little and now, you know, reaching out to other people who have gotten their dogs from the same breeder, who have the same dad, a lot of their corgis also do it. So I don't know how, but it is obviously a genetic thing. I don't know why they do it, but um, they do and it's really cute. It's not, it's more of like an excited, um, letting out some emotion, letting you know that they're happy type of thing. So that is why Willow howls while she eats. Um, Corgi's also, she howls when she's super excited. She howls when a new person comes over that she really loves and they're not giving her attention right away. She'll howl. Um, so it's just a very expressive, another way of them talking and it is, <laughs> Willow's just gonna lick my fingers. <laughs> it's just a way that they talk and let you know that they're happy or excited and a lot of corgis howl. Willow just also howls while she eats. Oh. Hi, baby. So that is our video on corgi quirks and other weird personality traits that corgis have. I probably missed a bunch because they are just full of energy and personality. So if I did, please message me on Instagram at Willow the Corgi or leave it in the comments, that would be great. I'll respond, maybe I'll do another video about all the corgi quirks that I missed out on. And on that note, Willow is bored. Huh, you wanna go play? <gasps> yeah, you wanna go play? You wanna go play? You wanna go play? Bye guys. Ooh.